Mac OS 14 Sonoma is the latest major release of Apple's computer operating system. If you want to install Mac OS Sonoma on a virtual machine, such as VMware, VirtualBox or Parallel Desktop, you will need the Mac OS 14 Sonoma ISO file. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to download or create a Mac OS 14 Sonoma ISO file. The process requires you to download the Mac OS app file from the Mac App Store, then convert the app file to DMG and then DMG to ISO. For this process, you need to use a Mac computer. However, if you do not have a Mac computer and you do not want to create the ISO file by yourself, I'll provide the download link in the video description. From there, you can directly download the Mac OS Sonoma ISO file that I created for you. If you have a Mac, I'd suggest you follow the steps to create the latest Mac OS Sonoma ISO file on your Mac. The first step is to download the full installer of Mac OS Sonoma from the App Store. To do it, open the App Store and search for Mac OS Sonoma. On the Mac OS Sonoma page, click the Get button. Then you will be redirected to the Software Update page. Click Download. The update is around 13 GB, so it will take some time to download. After the download finishes, the installer will launch. Just quit the installer as we are not going to install it on this Mac. The Mac OS Sonoma installer will be kept in the application folder. The next step is to prepare an empty disk image for the Mac OS Sonoma installer and mount it using a command line tool. For that, launch the terminal app on your Mac. You need to run this command into the terminal window. This command will create a 16384 MB empty disk image with the volume name Sonoma in the temp directory. Just copy and paste the command and hit return to execute it. Then run this command to mount this disk image to the system. Now you can make the bootable macOS Sonoma installer on the created empty disk image. For this, enter this command. You need to enter your Mac's password. Please note that your password won't be visible in terminal, not even as asterisks. Enter Y to continue. Wait for some time for the macOS Sonoma install media to be created. After that, you can now unmount the disk image using this command. Next, enter these two commands to move the macOS Sonoma installer to your desktop and rename the extension to .iso. Finally, to delete the disk image or DMG file that you no longer need, run this command. Guys, now you should have the macOS Sonoma ISO file on your Mac's desktop. Once you have the ISO file, you can use it to install macOS Sonoma on a virtual machine within your actual computer. Regardless of whether your actual computer is running Windows, Linux, Mac or any other operating system.